Hey guys, my name's Shannon. I'm gonna be showing you today how to make mock tuna salad. It is vegan, uh, really healthy, it's raw, so if you're missing the taste of tuna, um, this is a really great way to incorporate uh, vegan tuna fish into your diet. For the mock tuna, you're gonna need um, a can of chickpeas, two stalks of celery, about a half an onion, a third of a cup of vegan a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of kelp powder half of teaspoon to a tablespoon of soy sauce, and of course, your bread. First, you're gonna start with chickpeas. You're going to mash your chickpeas, so you're gonna really mash them very finely. Um, get them down to a very coarse mush. Now that you have your chickpeas mashed in your bowl, um, I like to test it and uh, see what my dog thinks. Okay, babe, let me know. Are we good? I think we're good. We're gonna chop two stalks of celery. Okay, so we're gonna take this onion. Uh, water, water please, water. Thank you. <coughs> so we're gonna dice, uh, dice an onion. You can dice um, either a half onion or a whole onion, depending on your preference for onion paste in your tuna fish. Okay, so I am going to take my onions and I'm gonna mix them in with my celery here. You are going to mix your onions and your celery into your chickpea bowl. I'm gonna take a third of a cup of vegan ace and uh, mix it into your tuna, celery, and onion here. So we've mixed in our vegan ace. This is pretty much where you should be at right about now. So a nice creamy tuna fish texture going on in there. You got all your onions and your celery and your tastiness. We are now going to add, um, add our nutritional yeast. <laughs> now add about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. So mix that around in there. You're gonna add your soy sauce now. You're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of soy sauce. Next, you're gonna add your kelp powder. Uh, add about a teaspoon of kelp powder. This is just gonna give, give you that tuna fish taste. Okay, so you're gonna mix that in. Now, before you mix that in, you can also add your salt and pepper to taste. Mix everything in. You are now done uh, with all of your ingredients, so you're gonna take it and spread it onto your bread. Now it's time to enjoy it. You have to let your dog. Mmm. And there you have it. Um, easy one, two, three, you know. It's vegan, it's healthy, and it's nostalgic. 